Yeah, g'day guys, uh, just for this video, I'm just doing a uh, simple engine oil change, uh, but just wanted to share all of these. Uh, now normally your sump will have a just normal drain plug, but there's a few different types of valves available. Uh, these are just, this is called an easy valve, EZ valve, and it's just a nice and simple, uh, handy if you want to take uh, engine oil samples while the engine's running, uh, which is ideal. Uh, there's a few different types of these. Uh, Fumoto, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, is very similar to this, uh, except in a brass design. Uh, really, it comes down to price which one you choose, whether these one. Are. I'm also aware of uh, one called Stale Bus, it's slightly different design, uh, but essentially does the same thing. Uh, yeah, this makes uh, your yeah, engine oil changes completely mess free uh nearly tool free if you didn't have to take a bash plate off uh you know you could drill a hole uh under here but this being a four-wheel drive it's uh and when you hit the beach a lot it's probably end up building up a bit of beach sand in there i would have thought so uh i haven't done that but yeah i have seen it done and the good thing is uh you know if, if you get do start making mess quickly you can quickly shut it stop your flow no problem and away you go again while we're doing the engine change, obviously the filter is coming out. Uh, while it's still draining, just back the uh, the housing off. Don't pull it all the way out. Just allow that to drain out. Now I can hear that dropping down there now. So I'll leave that for a minute or so, and then change it out. These filters will often stay in the housing. Now it's important when putting these filters back that you don't put the new filter in this top housing. The reason is this little uh, spigot here, if that goes in it's likely to get crushed and uh, yeah it creates a, an issue with oil flow so you need to drop that filter in to the filter housing first and then the then the cover always give these a bit of a, a, bit of a wipe out first O-ring just in here, okay. get change out. There's normally a new one in the uh, in the kit. So I'll only whack a little bit of oil just on these O-rings. Uh, just helps with a little bit of lubrication when they're uh, when they're going in. Now these are a square profile O-ring. So if you just whack it on like this. And we'll often twist up little little trick. Just get a flat blade screwdriver, just under the O-ring, and just slide it around while sitting in place behind. And that should straighten it out. We'll basically untwist it. There, yeah, just run your finger around, make sure there's no twist on that O-ring. Alright, so as I mentioned, that spigot for the oil filter goes down first. Uh, I just rotate it around and then you'll feel it lock in and just push it down in place. It's as easy as that. And the uh, filter cartridge cover can just... Screw on. This doesn't need to be super tight. 
think the spec is 32 in Newton meters, so I'll just do it to it. Add the seats down and just give it a nip. That's a while that engine oil is draining, I'm going to change the air cleaner. Uh, also, while I'm doing this, I'm going to give the mass airflow sensor a bit of a clean. Uh, I haven't done it for a while, and uh, another West Australian based uh, Land Rover YouTuber, uh, Outback Discovery, uh, has suggested that it's uh, can help improve fuel economy when you give that a clean out. So I'm going to give it a clean out and see how it goes. So if it works, cheers, Ryan. Appreciate it. Uh, these are pretty simple to change out, these air cleaners. So uh, just made it pull that panel out and throw it in the dipper. Throw a new one. It's an old one I've, well not an old one, it's a new one, but one that I've had kicking around for a little while. Uh, mainly just a travelling spare. When I'm by uh, remote, I always carry one with me, so I'll need to replace this one. Yeah, I'll uh, pop this off and... Just use a can of a uh, mass airflow cl sensor cleaner. And while I'm cleaning out, I'll also do the uh, the uh, boost sensor manifold rear pressure. I'll give that this one a clean out. As soon as you come clean out, I'll let that uh, this stuff evaporate out and I'll whack it back in. Obviously, the uh, major step is making sure you either put your drone plug back in or shut your valve in my case. Now, this one uh, also comes with a a little secondary cover that just screws into place. Simpower uh, 5840. Uh, it's not a Land Rover spec oil. Uh, I've got reasons for using it. Uh, happy to discuss it later, but uh, it's probably not really suitable for this video. But yeah, definitely the next video. Like, I've done this oil change now, I've taken a sample. Uh, I'll 
if you're familiar with my videos, you'll know that I changed the oil cooler out. Uh, that did get flagged uh, from an oil analysis. So, so yeah, so the next uh, video we'll see whether there's any coolant traces in the oil again. Uh, if there is, then it's probably the most likely source is going to be a head gasket. And to be honest, if that's the case, I'm probably not going to really bother doing anything with it at this stage. Uh, you know, as I said, this thing's by now over 370,000 Ks. Yeah, it's probably just not worthwhile uh, getting that excited about, I don't think. Uh, not for a, a major fix like ripping a head off. But in this particular case, it's uh, if it wasn't such a difficult job to access, then yeah, I'd probably lay rip a head off or heads off. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it'd be a fun job. Let's see how that oil level's going. That's it. Just normally fire it up uh, for a bit just to get that oil filter full, and then just recheck. And top up as required. Okay, so last job for the oil change pretty much is uh, resetting the service interval counter. I just use the uh, IOD tool through the OBD port. So went to service test, instrument pack, and it's service interval reset. And yes. All right guys, so for the 2.7 uh, diesel, yeah, oil filter we use, uh, I use Ryco filters where I can. Uh, so that uh, part number for the oil filters are R2262P, and the air filter is uh, A1603. So I'm gonna wrap up uh, now, I'll finish up by make sure the oil levels are correct and whatnot, but uh, yeah, thanks for, Sticking with me through what's kind of really essentially a, uh, a pretty simple subject, but uh, yeah, it's just a bit of time I'm mucking about in the shed, so it's always welcome. So anyway, I'll uh, see you next time. Cheers, guys.